Hey guys, what's up? My name is Veronica and welcome back to my channel. It is currently the end of December, meaning 2019 is ending in just a couple of days in 2020. It's just around the corner. And, and so I kind of wanted to do something that every other YouTuber is doing and kind of do an overview of 2019 and kind of just, you know, re-look at the past, maybe insert some pictures, maybe some videos, and let's just take a look at the year and remember some good things, some bad things that have happened, and maybe some things we can learn from. So if you are interested in hearing about my 2019 overview, please stick around, keep on watching, subscribe for more videos, and let's get into it. Okay guys, so in January, not much happened. It was pretty mellow, you know, going to school and everything. My boyfriend did end up getting a new car though towards the end of the month. My mom's boss was getting rid of a car that he drove up here because he lives in Florida and we're in Minnesota and he needed to get rid of it and so he sold it to us for a cheap price. A couple of things needed to go into it but it is an SUV versus an old Honda Civic and so so much more things can fit into the car we can actually do more activities and you know we can actually do the things we want to do so getting that car was probably one of the best things that have happened throughout this year so then we jump into February and February was not a very good month so about a week or so after my boyfriend got his new car he needed to bring it to the shop to get you know the couple of problems fixed and so he was driving his old car, his Honda Civic, to work the couple of days that his car was in the shop. And it snowed this day and it was extremely icy out and he was driving to work at like 6.30 in the morning and he ended up spinning out on the freeway. Ended up in the snowbank, right? And so he's calling us, he needs help. My dad and I drive down there and we put our emergencies on, we get on the side of the highway. He gets out of the car, gets into our car so we can call a tow truck. Not even two seconds later, we hear a little skirt and some SUV spins out and slams into the Honda. It was literally like five seconds after he got into our car. The Honda ended up being totaled. It basically after, it, it could not be fixed. There wasn't any damage from him spinning out. He was maybe like an inch or so away from the guardrail. But obviously when the SUV hit him, it pushed his Honda into the guardrail, so the back lights were completely smashed. His bumper in the back was completely smashed. His fender in the front was smashed. The hood of the car was dented up and over a little bit. Front headlight was smashed. And after we got out, because we were able to drive it home, luckily nothing was wrong with the alignment or the wheels of the car. Blinkers started not working and the windshield wipers actually stopped working. So luckily we didn't have to drive the car anymore after that day and we did get a nice insurance payout. So it paid for the fixes for his new car, got his old one taken away and dealt with and got an insurance payout, so nice. So when this car accident happened, I had to take this day off of work because we were dealing with all that crap, right? And literally the next day I get to work and my boss was my boss's car was in the driveway or in the parking lot my other co-worker's car was in the parking lot but when i got into the office nobody was there i mean the door was opened it was lights were on but nobody was in there and it was kind of weird and then i get a call saying veronica your boss our boss fell outside i'm out here with them um we need to bring him to the hospital Long story short, my boss is an older man and he ended up falling and breaking his hip because from the snowstorm the day before, it was like 30, 30, 35 degrees out and so it melted and then it froze overnight and so all the sidewalks, the parking lot was a sheet of ice and so he slipped on this sheet of ice and fell, broke his hip. He was laying on the ground for about 15 minutes and it was pretty cold this day. And the plow that, that was supposed to come sand our parking lot came, found my boss on the ground and put him in his driver's seat of his car. He was in so much pain and couldn't really move that he couldn't get out of the driver's seat of his car. So he drove himself to the hospital with me in the passenger seat so I could drive his car back to our office. Tell me why some 90 year old man was driving himself. To... It's just my boss. If you knew him, you... that's typical of him. 
He falls, broke his hip, and he ended up being out of commission for four months. Then we are gonna jump to March. Now March was a very bad month as well. Two major things happened. So my on March 3rd is my anniversary. My anniversary with my boyfriend of March 2019, we hit six years, right? We were all super excited. We had this whole plan on what we were going to do. We were gonna go out to breakfast, go do some activity throughout the day, go out to eat at night, maybe go and get some drinks, play bowl or play pool or go bowling. But it all changed. March 2nd, the day before, my boyfriend and I woke up at 6.30 in the morning and my boyfriend went on to take a shower because that's what he does right after he wakes up. And I really had to use the bathroom, but he was already in there, so I go downstairs. I hear my parents talking. My dad woke up apparently because their bedroom is downstairs. My dad woke up to take a shower because he goes to work on Saturday mornings. And the minute he stood up, he fainted and hit his head on his nightstand table, passed out for God knows how long, woke up again, he has a little gash on his head, took a shower, and that's when he woke my mom up, complaining that he just felt weird, and then that's when I went downstairs. My dad was confused, he just, something is telling him that something was wrong and he needs to go to the hospital. I get downstairs and my dad is touching his right shoulder going like this. He said his shoulder has been hurting for about a week and it's just been really bugging him but today it's bugging him way more than it has the previous seven days and since passing out that really bugged him and I'm like dad I'm not trying to scare you but that is a telltale symptom of a heart attack. I tell my boyfriend that I think my dad's having a heart attack that we get in my car and I drive him to the hospital. The hospital is about 10 minutes away from my house because I live pretty close to downtown. My mom texts me before I even pull into the driveway when I got home saying they immediately admitted him. Long story short, he did have a heart attack. Um, I can go into the story more if you need to, if you need me to but I'm not going today, but he did end up having a heart attack and he had to have a, I forgot it, endo, an endogram, endo something. And he ended up flatlining during that surgery. He ended up spending a couple days in the hospital. So that was March 2nd, my anniversary was March 3rd. We ended up going to breakfast, coming home, going to the hospital for a couple hours, coming back, going out to eat and coming home. At the beginning of March, I decided I'm getting a tattoo. I've decided to get the biggest tattoo I have. I have to sneeze. And I got a mandala flower tattoo. And it's probably from maybe like three-fourths of the way down on my ribs down to my thigh. It's pretty big. It was very painful. It took three sessions. I love it so much. It's one of my favorite tattoos. But then um, a couple weeks later... My boyfriend's mom visited because my boyfriend's mom lives out of state and they came up for a day or two because they had a, they had some things they needed to deal with up here. So we spent some time with them, went out to eat. Some fun times, fun times. In May, I had my second tattoo session because like I said, I had three sessions. The first session took eight hours. The second session took th three. The second session took seven hours. And then the third session took us three and a half, four to four and a half hours. The next day after I got my second session done, I decided that I'm going to go fishing with my boyfriend, his friend, and his dad, right? But I decided that I'm going to bring my longboard with me because I like longboarding. I get kind of bored when they fish and I just kind of sit there. So I decided to bring my longboard so I can go around the lake a couple of times, have my fun, you know, we're good. I ended up... While we were all walking to the spot that we were going to fish at, I, I ended up hitting some type of rock or stick and I fell. Rolled my ankle pretty badly and oh my gosh, I sprained it so bad. I still can't sit on it in certain positions. It's not good. It, I will insert a picture because oh, that was the most painful thing. I had to walk with crutches for like a week. 
it wasn't fun. I highly don't recommend doing that. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, so in June, my parents, when it's nice out, go on a walk around a lake that's close to our house. And a lot of the times they bring my dog because my dog loves going on walks. And our local news station was there doing a segment about some, you know, bugs and whatever. And they decided to stop and talk to my parents. And my dog actually had the disease that they were talking about. I mean, he's fine now, but when we adopted him, he had the disease. My parents and my dog ended up being on the news that night. <laughs> and so that was really funny. I had my, my little boy's a star. Then we get into something, oh, this was in June, if I didn't say. So then we go into something a little bit less fun. My boyfriend, does, um, I will get into it if you want to, if you want a story time. I can probably get my boyfriend in, we'll film it. Cause I don't, I don't feel comfortable saying it, telling the story myself because it, I wasn't the one that happened to. But my boyfriend almost died in June. My boyfriend developed an infection in his mouth and was days away from death, basically. If we wanted to keep the story short, he was days away from death, got a very high dental bill. It's great, he's alive. He's alive and well. But it was an ordeal. His face was so swollen. And yeah, in June, my boyfriend almost died. And then a couple weeks later, I got my tattoo finished. And then the next day, I had a baby shower. Because one of my best friends had a baby in July. And we had a baby shower for her maybe like three weeks. Three, four weeks before she had her baby. So that was fun. It was the first like adult baby shower I've ever been to. I've never really none of my friends have babies except for her so oh my gosh okay so a couple days after fourth of july this isn't we're in july now we decided to go up to my boyfriend's great uncle's house and he lives over an hour away i don't want to say in the middle of nowhere but it's kind of like in the country and he lives on a really nice lake there's pretty there's pretty nice fish in there my boyfriend's obsessed with fishing i don't know how many times i've said this already and so we're fishing off the dock all of a sudden this bulldog comes trotting up and apparently it was the neighbor's dog but they don't really keep track of him because no one lives there it's only the people that live on that like dirt road and then there's nobody else around so the dog just wanders around and it's hilarious but we had a little furry friend for the whole day she came up to us followed us to the car followed us to the other neighbor's house to go look at the horses and she chased the rooster around because the rooster was out of its pen and um, we saw some hogs, saw some pigs. The dog was with us the whole day. She got bored of watching us fish, so she decided to take a little swim, go under the dock, and you know, drink some water, roll around in the water. It was cute. We thought her name was Velma because we kind of understood, didn't understand the person correctly. Her name is Thelma, but we still call her Velma because it's close enough. Also in July, I made a story time about this, but um, this is when my brother had a party and the guy came up and tried to get into the garage when we had to confront him. I think I made a story time on it um, where we were waiting on pizza and this random drunk guy pulls up, gets out of the car and starts walking up to our house trying to get under under the garage door into like where my brother's friends and he, my brother was. That was fun. August, I started my last semester of college and I did lots of fishing. Lots and lots and lots of fishing. I can show some pictures somewhere, wherever it works. But I did lots and lots of fishing and then I went on my first camping trip ever at the end of August. Uh, it was kind of cold. I went up to Grand Marais in Minnesota. The average that week was in its 50s high 40s low 50s it was very cold but you know it was great I never been camping before in my life before that and I just can't wait to go camping again because that was so fun I dig it I'm gonna I want to do it all over again like take me back like that was probably my favorite part of the year without a doubt now we're gonna jump into September in September my dad got a stint because he because like I said about his heart attack his heart just wasn't 
just wasn't doing good. And the stent procedure did not go as planned. I can, like I said, in this, I'm not gonna go into it now, but if you want a story time, I can go into it. I know I definitely made a story time about this, but in September was the time where that girl approached me when I was outside mowing the lawn, trying to get all the leaves and the grass up. The girl that approached me that needed to use my phone, I know I definitely made a story time about this. Um, because, because the next week Itchy Booger messaged me. But, yeah, no, in September the girl approached me and asked to use my phone because she was ditched. Hopefully, girl, if you're somewhere out there, you're doing good. It's been months since I saw you, but hope you're doing Gucci. In September, it's also my brother's and my mom's birthdays. So we all celebrated their birthdays. Fun time, fun time. Rolling into October, not much happened. The beginning of October was my dad's birthday. Turned a year older. Um, it was my 23rd birthday at the end of October and in between those two times because obviously Halloween's at the end of October I went to a couple you know scream scream a couple of Halloween attractions I went to Dead End Hayride and I also went to Scream Town I love scary everything and like I love doing stuff like that unfortunately my boyfriend doesn't like it so I have to go with friends and I'm always the third wheel but you know it's cool we deal with it whatever so now, getting down to the end of the year. In November, it was Thanksgiving. Nothing special about that. My mom made yummy food. We all sat around there, joke. People got drunk. It was great. Um, but for the first day of November, I actually got another tattoo. I will insert a video right here of me getting the tattoo, but I actually got a coffee cup tattoo. People are always like, why a coffee cup? People ask me a lot why I get the tattoos that I get, but you know, I love my tattoos. I love coffee. That's why I got a coffee cup. That's it. I also had a bonfire the next day because my birthday was during the week, the last week of October, the first weekend in November. My friend had a bonfire for me and I'll bring, I'll insert a video somewhere of them bringing a cake out singing to me. That was really fun. Um, it's like the first time somebody actually like done something for me, even if it was just a bonfire. No one's really done something like that. And so it's kind of sad, but it's also nice at the same time. Because it's like, wow, I have friends that care about me. We also had a Friendsgiving the weekend before Thanksgiving. They made Thanksgiving dinner, and then we went over there. And my boyfriend's dad was there, and my friend's mom was there. So Friendsgiving, second Thanksgiving, whatever we want to call it food it was good but now we get into december december has been a very very boring month i was stressing about college but i graduated december 14th i graduated with a bachelor's in accounting so i'm a college graduate finally <laughs> unless i decide to get my master's then i'm gonna have to go back to school and i don't want to do that but you know sucks um we had christmas eve christmas New Year's in a couple days. I don't think anything special will happen between then, but like I said, December was really boring. Went, I went out to eat with my grandma twice. Graduated college. That's about it. Had a Christmas party at work. Oh, I went out to eat last night and had drinks with my friend, but even then, like, nothing too special, but I think that's it. That was my 2019 overview. I'm going to definitely keep up things and doing, I'm going to definitely keep a list and have a 2020 overview and we'll make another video next year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if, like, if you haven't so you can see more videos. If not, that's okay. Glad you're here. Well, we will see you next time. Hopefully I'm less sick. I was literally sick two weeks ago and I'm pretty sure I had the flu. And I don't know if I'm getting sick again or if this is allergies because it just feels like allergies. But who knows? Who knows? But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>